help comes up uh, first you must understand how to use or make use of digital marketing understand the different uses of digital marketing platform and know the tips of using this uh, online platform okay so when you look at business method bagaimana kita memperniagakan hari ini memang berbeza dengan dahulu malah berbeza dengan tahun-tahun lalu okay tahun lalu we are still focusing more on uh, face to face uh, pembelian face to face when we do promotion we are using uh, newspaper flyers radio te television all these method of promotion are like uh, one way promotion okay promote promosi yang satu hara saja one way promotion so it means that you only can tell the audience or your prospect customer consumer what are you selling but they cannot reply to you but today business we have extra we are not only giving them information but we also expect feedback from them and with that feedback it will it will help us to help them uh, buyers or customer to decide whether they want to buy your products or not jadi uh, feedback ataupun uh, apakah review uh, ataupun apakah pengalaman pembeli sangat-sangat penting so that's why we are also looking for review of uh, you products or servicing through youtube facebook and instagram we ask for feedback kita minta um, jawapan daripada pembeli sama ada mereka puas hati dengan produk kami atau tidak so that is why today we are focusing more on digital marketing khasnya sekarang zaman 2020 ah, masa ini disebabkan oleh pandemik lebih banyak lagi kita bergantung kepada online business so you must know what to mean by digital marketing and when we look at online business remember you have different group of communities we have direct contact direct contact means we know them face to face kami kenal dia okay, we know them directly they might be our friends our relatives our families and colleagues and we also have indirect contacts okay mereka yang kita we might know some of them indirectly although we are not familiar with them we know some of them indirectly they are the friends of my friends okay they are maybe the, the relatives of my uh, family and then they might be the colleagues of my friends so they are indirectly know us and we also might be knowing them personally but we also have one group we call them non-contacts that means we really don't know them we only know them because they are part of the big online community okay big online community so we are not only trying to get to the indirect but we also try to get to the non-context non-context to to do our business this is our final target so when we are doing business online remember the the process of doing business remains similar to the face-to-face -face business method okay start with business ideas after that you validate your business ideas and creation but when you have uh, this digital world business then you have to look at seo and looking at uh, other business foundation so it's very similar masih sama process dia masih sama cuma platform yang kami pakai kurang uh, tidak tidak sama and then we are also using many other uh, digital method platform to help us like for example a uh, website and e-commerce to help us to do the our business and then remember when we are doing offline this is the main um, structure from supplier to wholesaler okay orang tengah and then orang tengah to retailer retailer are the like the, the shops the supermarket before they sell to consumers this is the very traditional yang biasa lah kita pakai but when we go to online business now remember we still can have both online and offline at the same time masih boleh guna online dan offline pada masa yang sama but we also have online meaning that we can um now the online business for example e-commerce seperti lazada and shopee they allow suppliers to sell directly to consumers you can see so directly consumers with 
website and e-commerce and even though so and also social media satu cara and then another method is we go through agent so when we looking at agent kalau kamu kata dropship agent dropship agent they are only helping to do promotion they don't keep stock tidak simpan stock so when they do promotions customer want to buy customer might tell the agent they want to buy and the agent will go to supplier tell inform supplier to deliver directly to consumer okay so agent of drop shippers or drop shippers do not keep stock they have to stop they will only help to do promotion like what we see like an uh, insurance agent they don't have anything for sell in hand they after they promote the product then, then you agree to buy insurance then they go back to the insurance company insurance company will issue the insurance policy directly to the consumer so similar concepts okay then you also might have a sub agent and so on in the online purchase okay remember you can have both online and offline so in your bmc it's not necessary you get you pack it down say about online only or you only do offline you can have both structures two structures at the same time okay remember you you can use any method to sell your products but remember uh find one that is suitable for your products okay and when we talk about marketing digital marketing remember we have this platform because facebook instagram whatsapp all these are the platform and one very uh important terms you have to learn today is seo what do we mean by s s search e for engine or for optimization search engine yala uh, google okay yahoo and other uh, apps or website that you can help to find things in the internet okay you can use this search engine to find your products or companies or whatever things you want so when you look at search engine optimization you are looking at what are the important things that people searching today a five product yang orang cari cari hari ini these are the things that we are going to sell today okay and then when we look at social media platforms remember there are many types other social network site for example facebook media sharing means that most of the time they only share the videos audios kind of media you know and also photo instagram and youtube micro blogs twitter messaging application like whatsapp and telegram all these are social media platform and at the same time you have this uh, digital digital platforms this is what we call for the purpose of e-commerce we call it marketplace marketplace maksudnya tempat atau platform yang kita melaksanakan jual beli so in simple you can see uh, lazada and shopee if you want example lazada and shopee are the best examples of course you have many others they are doing the similar thing now for example uh food panda for example grab food they are like marketplace also okay and then you have other method like uh they can create their own website like uh, for example kfc pizza hut they have their own website to sell and remember normally when we see people doing online business they are not using only one they use many different methods they might have their own website but they also use a uh, lazada or shopee marketplace and they might also use email at the same time and remember how to get the customer's data still remember last week um in the week before we mentioned about this uh, lead magnet okay if you offer free products or samples to your customers bagilah discount kalau kamu bagi discount uh, ataupun uh, sample untuk customer baru kan you have to take this opportunity to get some customer information okay you need to bang your lead magnet so if you give some sample or discount remember you collect some information the most important thing is like emails collect their a little bit of data like email so that you can start to send out your uh, promotion things to them okay 
Jadi jangan lupa saya sudah minta for all the groups, remember all the groups you must have at least one Facebook account for your for your group project and uh, one Facebook uh, or, and one YouTube and as well as you start to find one website to start okay to create your company website okay mesti ya mesti ada especially a uh, website because your final report remember your final report you have to create your uh, portfolio of the business maksudnya you create a website portfolio with details of the business in the website so you have to start to do it now otherwise the last minute work might not be that beautiful uh, it carries a very high marks okay maka sangat tinggi so that's why i keep saying that okay sorry all right so when we look at digital okay remember we have looked at a few things first internet penetration especially in malaysia is quite high actually according to this is about 70 to 80 percent memang uh, tengok negeri juga lah kalau negeri sabah sabah and sarawak you don't expect that high if Sabah have 50 or 60 percent consider very high already some place very very bad internet penetration very very bad internet I understand that okay so that is why you you look at this this is average about 80 over percent tapi di Sabah mungkin tak sampai to okay and remember when we look at this and the second thing we have to look at is what is the most important platform which is the most important platform mana satu paling penting okay we can see here according to this research youtube is the most important followed by facebook and instagram tetapi ingat eh, this is also depends on the age of the consumer age of the buyers look at there okay for generation jack i think you are generation jack remember the most important thing is actually for you is think things like YouTube and Instagram. Okay, Facebook still important, but if you compare to Generation Y, they are using more Facebook than you. Okay, and if you look at Generation X, okay, Generation X, they are still using uh, a lot of YouTube. So YouTube still very very popular, but when you look at Instagram, this is a big difference. Okay, Instagram. When you look at Instagram, the most of the user are Generation Z. So when you do your business, you have to understand who are your main target. If your main target of segment of customers are the younger adults uh, like you, then Instagram is one of the most important. Tetapi, kalau kalau your target is different group like for example generation z okay and uh, baby boomers this is about 50 yeah so for for them don't use instagram okay this is to tell you why instagram should be used but for different groups of consumers if you are using um facebook this is quite popular for most of the groups same thing for YouTube. So you have to understand the people, the consumers of different groups age, okay, different age, we have different preference on which social website they are using. Ini uh, will, will affect, okay, ini mempengaruhi, mempengaruhi platform mana yang kamu perlu pilih, which, you, which platform should you use. All right, next we are looking at um, what are the important tips on social media? First, okay, you have to start to build a good relationship with your followers. That means that you always have to respond to the followers. And then if you are being tagged, you have to have some comments and so on. Ini sangat penting. Okay, if your response is good, then you could a better, give a better impression already. Next, create a um, good quality post. That means that you always give uh, post uh, photos, beautiful videos, or something that relevant to your product. Okay? Uh, your post must be relevant and uh, help you to promote your product. Okay? And post consistently. Any thing. 
Okay, you don't don't post once, then you if your account continue to sleep, huh? Okay, sleeping Instagram or sleeping Facebook account, then nobody wants to look at it again. So you post continuously something that interesting, you will get more and more followers. This is the important part. And then consistently, yeah, sama lah, kan? post at the right time. So you must know when is the time to post morning. Lunch and evening. Morning, maksudnya, uh, biasanya awal pagi ya. Uh, during breakfast, people will start to to look at the the handphone, tablet for a while. Okay. Then after that, during lunch time, when people are free to sit down, have a break, they will look at Facebook again. This is the time. And the evening after dinner, maybe people are so free. Then this is the time. So you must know. When is the right time to post? Again, and remember, when you are doing marketing, like I say, Facebook is one of the popular for all the age group. That's why the first thing we are looking at is uh, Facebook. Huh? Right, let's look at here, the Facebook. Facebook, remember, even your business is small. Advertising on Facebook is a very good way to do promotion look at uh, for example adidas okay even though a big company they're still using facebook as a way to do business because now we can see very high penetration of internet especially in malaysia and people are using facebook so you expect to see uh, facebook is one of the popular ways for us to do business and when you do business remember you have, have facebook profile this is more for personal social purpose. You have to create a Facebook page for your business. Why do we do that? Because this will help you to get more followers. When a followers start to like your page, then you can get to, to more people. Okay, so one of the ways to, to, to get more people to like is you offer something, uh, for example, free gifts, something uh, or promotion then you ask them okay please like our page okay or you even have some uh like uh, people always do now is like a competition okay competition the photo with the most like you get a small comp price of the competition okay hadiah untuk mereka yang dapat banyak likes okay so with that you 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 will able to boost up Puts up the followers of your page. This is important. And then Facebook for entrepreneur. Remember, this is a strategic platform. All right. You can use Facebook page. You can use group. You can even join the Facebook marketplace. Sekarang memang banyak. What we call Facebook marketplace is a big group of uh, people who are the, the sellers who are selling things there. And at the same time, there are so many customers trying to buy from there. Especially during this pandemic, like me, myself, I never buy from the Facebook marketplace before the pandemic. Now, uh, because of the because of the pandemic, so we start to use that. I believe many people are doing the same. Okay, sebelum tu tak pernah beli ya. Sekarang we are get used to it. So, and then that's why you need a Facebook page now. So when you look at tips from Facebook marketing very similar to other platform. Your custom first customize your name, username, and then build a character behind your brand. Okay, you must have something that you focus on, and then frequency of posting. Like I say always keep on posting. Don't have a sleeping Facebook. That is important, and then always have a good reply. Uh, prompt replies that means you reply very fast okay when people ask questions if you got time you have to reply very, very fast use picture and video that is what people expect to see at the moment okay you can have many different types of facebook posts this is one of the thing you can see huh? how to viral okay how to increase the the post Okay, for example, you join the Facebook group. For example, these are the groups. Okay, and then join the groups, then you can get to 
more people to know your products. Okay, and then create unique content. If your content is so unique, then people will get to 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 like your products, and then people help you to promote your product. Okay, if you used to go to uh, buy drinks and uh, coffee uh, from Starbucks, you will notice that Starbucks they like to write your names on the cup, isn't it? But not I believe this Starbucks. I seldom don't bring drink coffee. But they used to do that, okay? So this number, the others, uh, the cups, uh, the, the paper cups on the, uh, and and that is why, uh, what they used to practice, okay? Their ways of doing. Tapi, if you, you sometimes you notice that for some Starbucks staff, they purposely write your name wrong, okay? They don't write the correct name or wrong name, and then, People start to post picture, okay, photos, photos of the cups with different names on the Facebook or Instagram. If you notice that, huh? actually at first, ini memang mulanya ini memang satu cara lah. It's a, a way to to uh, uh they they just want to attract the audience, okay, attract the audience. Tapat tetapi selepas tu mereka tapati. They find that if they write the name wrongly or differently, then they will get more posts online. So after that, they purposely do it. Okay, they do it as a way of promotion. So they have to have something unique in your content. So this is what, what Starbucks is doing. Of course, you have to think of something different to do it. Okay, and then promote and share on Facebook group. And then promote using your network. This is one way if you have your network and using hashtag on your, your post. This is one way to promote that. And then, then when you write your post, remember there are a few things you have to add in. Contohnya your headline, you have to have a title or at least uh, something that you want to focus on. Must the other title, their headline, their. Okay, and then intro. A simple intro will do. Remember, when you are doing posts in Facebook, in Instagram, or even in YouTube, don't write it in a very long sentences. People might not want to read it. People doesn't like reading words now. So a short description will do. But if no description, sometimes people will don't understand your, your product. Okay? And then you need selling point. Remember in your test, in your quiz, I ask you what is the unique selling point. Unique selling point, bukan produk atau perkhidmatan. Unique selling point ialah kalau kamu jual produk, apakah keunikan produk kamu? Okay, what is so unique about your product? So what is unique about your product? It might be the quality of your product is better. It might be the price of your product is uh, cheaper or affordable. It might also be your product is uh, unique in terms of design. Okay, some things with design or customize. Okay, customize or customize meaning that you do it specially for certain customers. Okay, for example, uh, if your group are doing like a sticker printing, you can print sticker according to your customer needs. So this is the unique point of it. Okay, unique selling point. And you can also give some tips and call to action. Call to action if you are hard sell. Okay, hard sell, then you can say, okay, you buy, you can buy this product from here or where. Okay, if you're interested to buy, please call this number or, uh, or WhatsApp this number, whatever. This is call to action. All right, so you can see this is one example. And when you do your Facebook marketing, few things you can do. Right? Uh, first thing is you can look at your Facebook insights. So Facebook insight is to see how effective is your Facebook marketing. So one thing we look at it is how many audience you reach with each posting. In another word, how many people watch your video or they look at your photo? Then total engagement. So engagement means that how many of them like your products, comment on it, share on it, and so on. Next, 
we also look at the the popular time people look at your post then by looking at this you know oh, this is the time that most people will look at my post so you should post your things here for example and then you also can look at who are the people who uh, always follow your your facebook okay uh, are they uh, female or male what are the age location and language your fans okay people you reach and people engage so you can see here for example how many people likes this page this is important the more people like your page that means your page can be uh, able to watch by more people and then how many posts reach how many audience really read your post and then how many people engage engage means they do something they even respond by click like comments or even share so this is what we want them to do so if your post is very interesting then people will start to uh, look at your post like your post and comment further and then so the reason to monitor the facebook insight is to monitor your facebook posting so you know what to post what is the popular things to post and it increased the traffic flow. traffic means lebih banyak orang dapat baca or look at your facebook that is the traffic flow. and based on this you can increase your brand awareness <coughs> and followers and last you can even conduct a simple research if you have enough followers then you do a simple research and you can check what are the things that consumers or the followers like to see and then you you can improve in that way and at the same time you can even improve your business performance that means your you can increase the sales in future okay so how to make money on facebook so just now we are talking about uh how to do promotion remember you also can make money from facebook with your facebook page or facebook account okay and there are many we call it internet celebrity people are very popular in internet they also do this um make money from this facebook first they can use apps okay this is the short apps or video then you put into your um facebook and then the advertise uh advertiser will determine uh, determine how much they want to pay you most of the time and then they also this will also determine by how many followers the more followers you have the more money they will pay okay and it's best for longer video and content okay and fan subscription sometimes the audience directly find your page okay the more audience you have the more fans you have the more uh this uh, subscription you get get okay this will come with um bonus something all right and then you also can collaborate with other brands to work together to to promote your products for example you have uh different groups yeah i will recommend you have different groups you two groups can work together in the previous apk project when we have this uh selling uh, selling in store in the our apk expo uh face-to-face uh, -face selling uh, we can see some groups they work together so they they will say okay if you come to buy in this store then you will get discount to buy in another store so two stores selling different things uh, they work together so they promote each other product together this is collaboration still you can also do it okay you can also do it for your groups because you are not selling the same thing so if one group is selling cookies uh, another group is selling snack for example you can work together because you are selling different things so you can give like a uh, discount okay after you buy my products you will get discount for buying another products okay so you promote each other okay collaborate with each other so of course you also can collaborate with a big brand Okay, a big company's brand and if that brand like your your facebook very much they will want to collaborate with you then you will earn money from that 
okay and subscription if you get people to subscribe to you and then this is one way uh different ways to make money on facebook okay next we look at instagram right when we look at instagram uh, i think you are very good at this all right then you can see companies are showing different photos okay like for example apple these are the example of photos that they show in their account. How about Lego? Uh, these are the photos. So you will notice one thing. Even though for Apple, they might not necessarily only take pictures of their own product, but they have pictures of different things. Okay, different products or and like uh, pictures of uh, natural things, okay, animals and so on. Why? Because they want to attract attention because you might not necessarily only you you subscribe to apple you might like to see other things not only the product itself but other things so that's why they they start with uh, they post many different photo photos to attract the attention they want to see what are the photos that people like the most and then that's the first thing second thing is they're also using this photo to show that our product can do this good quality photo okay our product can take a very good quality photo something like this so they indirectly show the performance of the products so there are many ways of doing photos look at here for lego are, are lego selling cars are they selling cars okay but they are selling toy cars so maybe that is the purpose they show the cars and then Next time they come out with a model of car uh, for their Lego products. Okay, model of cars for that. And then for for Nike, Nike, they, they have different uh, concept. You can see they are not only showing the products itself, but then uh, they show you the lifestyle related to the products. You have different lifestyle. You can have lifestyle uh, active, okay, sports, after that, you can have a leisure. That means you wear the shoes to go shopping, leisure. You even can go for tea with the shoes. All this is the related, okay? related. So you can see they have different concepts and they're trying to use this concept to promote their products. And not only for awareness, but also they want to continue to boost the, the post. People will keep looking at this because of something so when you look at instagram account remember you have basic account but uh, for private use but you also can make it public okay make it public for other people to to watch it remember for your instagram account for your individual account individual assignment individual assignment must be a public account okay individual assignment assignment two you have to submit next week on the fourth okay you have to submit next week on the fourth so that one you have to post your photo in the instagram account then for bukan photos and yeah not only the picture itself photo itself you put it there you have to have a simple description of the photo and then do some a little bit of promotion and at the end you tell me your names and metric number jangan lupa to, eh? there are a few few students they don't give by me the full name or the metric numbers when i check eh? Japan tea. okay that's the problem so you have to remember when you put your photos in the instagram account remember put your names also your metric sample that's for your group uh, uh your not group the individual project right and for your instagram remember continue to post Continue to post consistently, same thing, the time, and then uh, use hashtag and so on. And all right, so how to transform it? Looking at this. Okay, uh, the tips, same with the Facebook. The quality of post very important. Consistency of posting, build relationship, okay, and the right time. These are some of the same tips, same tips. So when we talk about Instagram types of posting, you have uh, feed content, that means you give information, upload photos and videos. You have videos, uh, live videos, 
Okay, lifetime, that means like a live streaming, okay, and podcasting, Instagram TV, like a long videos, and Instagram story. You can even like the, create something like stories or use survey and other things to make it creatively. So this is examples. You can have a story, tell a story. You can have a photo, you can have videos, you have, can have advertising, show you how to use or show you the beautifulness of the products, the collection, tell, show you different things and so. All right, so you can see that. However, one of the very important points you always remember is understand your customer before posting and creating apps. So you have to know your customer. That is why if you have enough customers, then you have to start to look at a few things. What are the locations of the customers? Demographies, age, gender, and language. Psychographic uh, lifestyle or things that they like and customization. Okay, what do they prefer? So next we are looking at this all right so this is other examples instagram can be many methods many ways like advertisement like live shopping so this is the part you know you need to know how effective is your instagram marketing you need to know whether i'm doing the right thing i do promotion online so now you need to know whether this is effective or not. So you look at here, the recent highlights. Normally, recent highlights is about seven days, in which first, they show you the overall view of that. For example, total number of accounts you have, okay, uh, who are the, uh, how many followers, revenue estimate for the past days, and then what are the content you share, and then next, this is the important one, the account reach, very important. Because the account reach will give you more details on the users that see, uh, that saw, who saw your accounts. Okay, and then impression, to, uh, how many times your post was seen, eh? activities, ah, this is what you do, what you do, but at the same time, uh, to, can you, you can see the clicks of the action button on your profile, okay? And then your post that is the most, the most popular post. Uh, this one is the most popular post, for example. How many people reach? And then by looking at this, you can compare with the pop, compare the popular with the not popular post, and then you will know why people like it. Okay, what are the things that people like? The top story and the video if you have. Okay, post interaction next. You look at content interaction. Then here you have post interaction. You can see the number of users who like, share, and comments. Okay, then you can see, oh, how many likes my page? How many share? What are the story related? What are the TV interaction? The numbers of users who look, watch my TVs. Again, the top post top story and so on so this is another important part the follower breakdown this is the way the part that you have to do a simple analysis first look at who are they from uh, the most popular followers from where the location and then how all the age and the gender by looking at this you have ideas who are the audience and then how to promote it and most active times this is also important the most active time will tell you what time is the popular time or the time that you should do the posting in your future so again you also can use instagram to make money similar to facebook you can work with the brands okay become an influencer make money from the sponsor post so you you post something that uh, related to a certain brand, so they will pay you some money. For example, cooking. Okay, if uh, you have some uh, channel show cooking, then in the cooking videos, 
in the cooking videos, they might show some um, brand, okay, products that they use for cooking. So even though indirectly they, they didn't directly tell you, oh, you must use this brand, but indirectly you are making money from that. Okay? And become a affiliate or focus on making sales. You sell something, they sell some things, and then open online store. This is one way. Of course, you can also sell your photos online. Especially for those who, who know how to take very good photos, how to create very nice photos and videos, you can use this as a way to sell, uh, to make money. So that's why I say, when you post online in your Instagram, in your YouTube, you always remember to create the license for your products, for your videos or photos. That is your intellectual property. Remember, if you do it very nice, one day the company saw it and then they might want to buy your advertising. Okay? They pay you money. And then if they really feel that you are very good promotion people, they, they know that, they feel that you can do a lot, then even work together with you to do promotion. So that is your opportunity actually. So we have these uh, two types of marketing. Oops, sorry. Uh, we have affiliate marketing. That means you're marketing advertisement in marketing advertisements in the affiliate website linked to the seller website. So you have uh, advertising in other website. All right. So if they prefer your advertisement, they will click this advertisement and link to another website so buyers can buy from another website this is one way of doing marketing online this is very common especially certain website now you can see some uh like uh, facebook you can see some advertisement in the facebook page okay advertisement in the in the google search engine all these are related to marketing and then at the same time you have dropship marketing. Dropship, like I explained earlier, the seller will in charge of uh, the promotion only, or the middleman uh, agents will in charge of the promotion. They will do all sorts of promotions, but the suppliers will do the delivery. Supplier akan hantar. So it means that you don't handle the stock. Of course, if you have suppliers, uh, from overseas, then you can ask them to send directly to your customer. This is one way. But uh, is you have to get a negotiation. You have to negotiate with your suppliers. Make sure they agree with your your ways of doing. Jangan sampai last minute after you sell, they disagree. They don't want to help you to deliver. That will affect your reputation. So that is why. If you are doing work dropship marketing, you have to really work uh, very closely with suppliers. Not only help them to promote, but you also negotiate with them for a better price. So that you as the seller, middleman, you earn the uh, good profit margin. Okay, so that is for Instagram. We also have uh, this uh, WhatsApp and that Telegram in the digital marketing. So we we used to WhatsApp and we used to Telegram also. Remember WhatsApp and Telegram is for us to inform, to give information. So communication on WhatsApp and Telegram is very important. First, you have to build rapport of that. You even can give them uh, some uh, promotion, okay? some promotion. And then you also can persuade them because this is two-way communication, so you can imagine if people want to know more, then you can start to give them information, and after that you can persuade them, and then the very simple one is only information, but you can also persuade them, okay? Persuade them to continue to buy your products. And then you also can do upsell. Okay, meaning that you, uh, they might contact you because they want to buy a cake. After that, you, you can tell them, oh, if you buy a cake with uh, something else, for example, a drinks, I give you special discount for the drinks. So you sell even extra thing, upselling, right? So you have different way of selling, but WhatsApp is a good way to allow you to communicate directly with your consumers.
not only giving information but persuade them, build up the rapport, and then even upsell the things. Okay, so you have different ways of selling. But remember, WhatsApp for business is uh, very important to make sure the customer like your your products. Okay. So what we do is we always have to create a business profile also for the WhatsApp account. Not only to just show a simple catalogs. We have to create a business profile, create a nice catalog for that. Quick reply. This is the key. Quick. Now everybody wants a quick reply, prompt reply, very fast reply. We don't want to wait anymore. Send an away message if you cannot answer. And then you can use computer to help you. Same thing with our Telegram. Telegram, you can create a public or private. You also can post a lot of information through the Telegram. Of course, uh, Telegram might not be that popular as compared to WhatsApp, but still Telegram is a good uh, opportunity to, especially Telegram will protect your secret if you are creating a private Telegram channel. So other platform, we have website. Okay, website can be informative. That is the normal website for companies. Also, we have e-commerce website like Lazada, Shopee. All these are selling products for different seller. And we also have this, uh, for example, website builder. This is where you can get your website. And then you can have content management system this is the things to help you to design your, your content, okay, build from scratch and so on. So you have many website building platform that will help you. Okay, so if you are using Google, remember Google is a very popular things that people are using for searching. And remember, you also hope that your customer will be able to search for your products. So what you are doing is you try to make sure that the terms or the words that you use for your promotion are something that popular or trendy. I keep on saying trendy. Trendy is something that people will want to search for. And then remember, for Google, also they have Google Apps. Right? This is ways for Google to make money. So they, they promote this online and then they sell this uh, advertisement. And then people who do the advertisement have to pay for them. Okay, so e-commerce is something like Shopee, Lazada, uh, you have other things like uh, Pijimo, Go Shop, and so on. We have so many. But so far, um, I think recently Shopee become more and more popular as compared to Lazada. Maybe because of the delivery cost or so on. So you have to know the trend. If you know that people like Shopee more, then you go for Shopee. Okay, how about strategies on e-commerce? Remember, e-commerce are like a big supermarket that many people are trying to sell in this big supermarket. So there are many types of products. When we are doing business in e-commerce, we have to offer many varieties of products. We always offer something that trendy and uh, customer wanted. You can offer, offer something that very unique. And then you provide a uh, different payment options. For example, maybe e-wallet and um, credit cards, banks transfer and so on, or stand out from the rest of the competitors with labels of products. Sometimes certain labels are very important. For example, ready stock, limited edition. All these are important terms, okay? Right, uh, spatial, something that's spatial. And then people will be attracted with the keywords of, or some words like spatial discount, okay? Uh, extra free gifts, for example, you have extra free gifts, for example. And then maintaining good rating, very, very important. Because we as a consumer, we also look at the rating and the comments. Um, and when you address the comments, that means when you answer the comments in uh, in the Lazada or Shopee, don't use standard time. Sometimes you have to have different comments for that. Some 
I noticed in Lazada and Shopee also, there are certain companies that have one comments for all the, uh, one answer for all the comments. Positive or negative, one answer only. So this is the wrong way of doing. If positive comments, you have to have a one way of answering, but you have, you can be creative, creating different comments, answer for the comments. But remember for negative comments, you have to really handle it carefully, especially for um, comments that might affect your branding, your reputation, you have to handle it carefully, not using standardized way of answering. Okay? And then offer certain voucher, if you buy during certain time, I'll give you certain discount. Okay, and some uh, seller campaigns, for example, uh, Double Eleven campaign, for example. This is the recent one. So this is one way to do promotion. And last will be emails. Okay, remember when we do emails, uh, we can always uh, give them information consistently. Okay? Give information to the customer consistently. But one problem with the customer is sometimes your information you give too often, like you you show that you send out email every day, then people will be very tired in reading and they don't want to read. So that's why be very careful when you decide to email your information. And but remember, if you don't have the customer database, it's useless for you to do email. So the first thing you have to have is you have the database of email address. So how to get it from the lead manek, I keep on saying lead manek to get uh, data informations, basic informations of customers, then only you can start to do promotions, provide informations, and even a lot subscription or memberships. Then you will get to the potential customers. And after that, encourage them to buy. So email marketing might not be that effective sometimes. It depends on whether you get the largest database, you get the collect database of customers or not. All right, so when you see emails, there are many different types. One type is directly you email certain party, a certain person for the information. And then you sometimes you create a newsletter for people to read. Newsletter is like uh, some something with information, something with information about some, some products or service. And third, placing uh, apps in the email where uh, they can even click for that. All right, so that is all for this uh, unit uh, six.